You might slip, you might slide, you might stumble and fall by the roadside. But don't you let nobody drag your spirit down. Remember, we're walking up to heaven. Don't let nobody turn you around. Well, the, the Heritage Blues Orchestra, what we try to do is we try to bring all facets of the African-American uh, music experience uh, to the table. Uh, our concerts are, are rich with uh, traditional blues, with feel hollers, uh, with gospel. Um, what else? Delta blues. Delta blues, well, traditional blues, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we try to bring all of that uh, uh, as an auditory experience to the, to the audience. Thank you very much. I, I, I think the blues deserves more attention uh, these days. You know, in the States, it's kind of funny. You know, there was a period where blues was really popular, and then it wasn't so popular, and maybe it's half popular, and then not so popular again. And some people think that the blues is dying, but every time you look at television and you see all these commercials, they're using blues tunes and blues licks, and, you know, they are kind of got that culture, but they kind of push the... The, the actual music, uh, as far as being popular, kind of uh, to the side. But um, one thing that I found out is that uh, a lot of times when we, in our, within our shows, after the show, people don't realize how much fun they can have uh, and how much of a great experience they can have listening to the blues and, 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 uh, and all of its fruits. One of the other members of the orchestra, Bill Sims Jr., is my dad. So that's how I became uh, versed in the blues. I grew up with it. I grew up with it in my house. He practiced all the time. And I would hear, you know, anywhere from Elmore James uh, to Albert King to, to Skip James and Sun House to some of, um, you know, the female artists, you know, Sarah Vaughan and uh, Aretha Franklin. <laughs> You know, all of those those musicians that are rooted in, in the blues. Um, and I, of course, love American pop music, which is also rooted in, in that, that history, whether or not we choose to acknowledge it, um, and hip-hop and, and soul and R&B. So. Dressed in white, sing all day, dance all night, wiggle, wiggle, purr like a cat, wink at your baby, your little wink back. The blues was just another way to express yourself, whereas gospel music is expressing uh, to, to God or the Creator, and blues music is just uh, expressing uh, views of everyday life. I mean, that, that's really the blues is just stories about everyday life and experiences of the writers. Um, if, you know, there's this dichotomy be between the blues and gospel that, you know, people that are really religious, they feel like the blues is a devil's music. And uh, to me, that's, that's not true. I mean, there's, you, can, you can sing some distasteful gospel too. Is, you know, so it's really no difference to me. Um, with, for me, it, personally, it's, it's um, and how you project it and what it's about. I mean, you know, it's good and bad and everything. But um, I came to, uh, to know the blues because as a, as a youngster, I always liked the sound of the guitar. And uh, at the time, I had an uncle that used to come over, and he played uh, in gospel quartets. But he liked the blues, and, and that's what my ear was attracted to. So I kind of, like, watched him, and, and I... I learned some of the things that he was playing, and that led me to Jimmy Reed and Freddie King, uh, Lightning Hopkins, um, you know, then later on Albert King, B.B. King. Um, then after them, uh, I, I, it's funny, you got the Dwayne Allman here, he's my favorite uh, guitarist. I found the Allman Brothers band, 
and which their music is, is blues based. Um, so I found them, and the second fa favorite guitar player is Jan Ackerman, <laughs> believe it or not. But but anyway, um, and I, I could hear I could hear blues in, in the early uh, focus uh, recordings. Uh, yeah, it may not be one four five, but it's just very uh, soulful and, and bluesy, in my opinion. So. Clarksdale is a town laying heaven on my mind. Can have a good time there and not have one lousy dime. Clarksdale, Mississippi, always gonna be my home. Well, I think that we're a very uh, diverse group of, of musicians. You know, we have musicians from the United States and from France, and, um, you know, we're all coming to the table with our experience, and I think that the music ref reflects that, you know, reflects all of our different stories. And, yeah, it's impossible for us to, to sound the same. <laughs> we're all coming to the table uh, with a different reflection. Yeah. Thank you.